Hi, my name is Lily and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little bit different for me and that is a rant review. So, if you don't know, a rant review is basically what it says on the tin. I am going to rant to you about why I really didn't like this book and it's actually why I decided to DNF this book, which means why I decided to not finish it. And the book is The Court of Miracles by Kester Grant. Now, this book is absolutely beautiful. I will show you under the dust cover quickly. So you can see how beautiful this book is. It's just lovely. It's got sprayed edges. Unfortunately for me, the insides didn't match up to the outsides. So what was wrong with this book? I'm actually going to put it down because it's quite heavy. <laughs> so The Court of Miracles. The premise behind it is it's kind of a lame as retelling. And that's all I can really tell you because there isn't really a plot to give you. I'll just read you the blurb because that's the best I can do because there isn't a plot to summarise which is one of my issues with this book. So here's the blurb for you. Dramatic reading. 1828 and the citizens of Paris still mourn in the wake of their failed revolution. Among them, in the dark alleys and crumbling cathedrals of the city, the most wretched have gathered into guilds of thieves, assassins and worse. Together they are known as the Court of Miracles. Eponine has lost more than most. When her father, Thenardier, sells her sister to the Guild of Flesh, she makes a promise to do anything she can, she can to get her sister back, even if that means joining the Court of Miracles, the very people keeping her sister a slave. Eponine becomes perhaps the greatest thief the court has ever known, finding a place among them and gaining another sister, Cosette. But she has never forgotten the promise she made, and if she is to have any hope of saving one sister, she will have to portray the other. This beautiful reimagining of Les Miserables tells the stories of your favourite characters and what might have happened if the French Revolution had never come to pass. So, the major issue I had, which I said at the beginning, is this book does not really have a plot. The blurb makes it sound like there's a plot. There is not. <laughs> there, it's, the way I summarised it to my friend Ben was it felt like someone was writing a summary of a TV series and every few chapters it was a new episode of a TV series and these episodes weren't strictly linked and there wasn't really an overarching like character arc for anyone. And that's really how this book felt. It was very choppy. I didn't really know what was going on half the time. And I just was sat there thinking like, when does the plot come in? When, when, when am I going to know what the overall like goal of this book is? And so I tweeted out saying like, this is how I'm feeling. What, what am I wrong? Is something going to happen? And a few of my friends messaged me privately and just kind of said, no, you're right. There isn't a plot. There is kind of this mishmash of like every few chapters, it changes to a new like heist, but the heists aren't very exciting and they're not very well thought out and they're not very there's just no feeling behind these heists. And then the other problem I had with this book is that because of the lack of plot, that's a big part of this, you don't really get to know any of these characters and you don't really get to care about them. And the biggest problem was Eponine, or Nina as she's called in the book, I just didn't care about her. At the start of the book, you are thrown in to the action. It pretty much starts with her sister being sold. Normally that works fine because you have that rush into the story and then you sort of pull back a bit and get to know the characters. And through the slowly developing plot, you get to know the characters over time. But in this book, you don't get that. You just get plot, 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 plot. Here's like six different plots in one book. No character development, no time to get to know any of these characters. I just didn't care about any of them. I didn't fully understand their relationships with each other. You know, there were certain people she was scared of, but I didn't understand why, because there was no building up of that fear and anticipation. There were people she was supposed to have a crush on, but there was no build up of that other than like, oh, she kissed him. And it just, I didn't care. All of these plots revolved around you're supposed to care about Nina and her sister and trying to get her sister back and you're also supposed to care about Cosette or Etty as she's called in the book and how, you know, she's got to betray Etty and you've got to care about Etty but how can you care about a character who is just introduced to you as this small pretty girl and that's all she is. She's a very 2D character. She's very just, she's a small pretty French girl who was poor whose mother has died and she is now the ward of Thenardier and it just... I just didn't care and I didn't understand why I should care about her being betrayed other than just on a basic human level and I didn't know why I should care about her sister. 
I also didn't really understand the whole plot with her sister being sold and how that worked because very early on in the book she breaks into her sister's room and tries to rescue her and it doesn't work and you don't really understand what's going on. I don't understand why people were so scary or it just, there was no character building. I would also say there's not a lot of world building in this book, which is another issue I had. Uh, and that's sort of my third big major problem with this book. I didn't understand the magic system. I didn't really understand the different courts. That was not explained very well at all. And I didn't understand there were like lords and masters and I had to keep flicking back to the front of the book to try and understand the difference between lords and masters. And I still don't fully understand how someone becomes a lord and how someone becomes a master and what the difference is and the levels of power and why some courts have them and some courts don't and why some courts have multiples and some courts don't. It just was never explained. And the purpose of the courts was never truly explained and how the courts fitted into Paris was never really explained because it's all very insular of the courts interact with each other but not much with the outside world and it just honestly I just was confused I was confused didn't know what was going on didn't know what the point of any of this was didn't know why I should care about these characters didn't understand what was going on in their lives it was just mm. it was one of those books where it was a very very good idea but it was not executed well at all. It needed a lot more editing, it needed one plot, not like 25, and it just needed more character time. And I think that's why this book is so Marmite, as I know a lot of people really love this book. I also know a lot of people really hated it, like I did. And I think that's why. I think if you're not too bothered about character and just want plot, 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 you can get on with this book. But if you actually want some character building and some even world building, <laughs> This book is not for you. I honestly would not recommend anyone read this book. It sounds really harsh, but I just don't think it's a good book. I objectively think it's poorly written because it just, it's not the worst book I've ever read. It was still entertaining, but you do get bored very quickly because you don't care. And that was the biggest problem about this book. And that's why I think I couldn't recommend it to anyone really. I think if it went through a few more rounds of edits, I would recommend it, but no. But I would actually continue to read this author. I'm not writing the author off at all. I just think this book wasn't executed well, but I think it shows so much promise that her future books are probably going to be amazing. So she's definitely on my radar for any future books she releases, but this one to me just was not ready and it was not well executed at all. Okay, so my three main points. I didn't care about the characters because there was no character building. There was not an overarching plot, it was just lots of little subplots with no connection and it was really hard to follow or understand why I should care. And there was no world building, so I didn't understand the different courts, I didn't understand their purpose and how they connected to Paris. And because of that, I just could not. I got about halfway through and my friends told me it doesn't change, this is the whole book, so I decided not to read it. Or well, not to read the rest, I guess I could say. So that's why I DNF The Court of Miracles and it's why I'm not going to be recommending it, which really makes me sad because it's so beautiful and it's such a clever idea. But I will be keeping an eye out for Kester Grant's future books because I do think she has some promise. So I hope you enjoyed my first ever rant review. <laughs> like, I was very anxious about making this because I didn't want to like trash on the author because I don't think the author is a bad person. I just think this book wasn't great. If you like this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to see more videos from me. And uh, I don't know, leave me a comment down below to let me know if you've read The Court of Miracles and what you thought of it, and if you have any books that you think I would like because of this review. Okay, that is it. Thank you for watching. Bye!